Hey everybody, Pokemon Trainer Solar coming to you guys with another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi Battle video. In this episode, we'll be using our newly made Jack and Dexter team. Now you're probably looking like, oh, it's the same Margram. No, it's actually a different one. For some reason, I have like six of these shiny. <clears throat> I knew I bred them a lot, but I didn't know that much. Anyway, so our team consists of Jack and Daxter and then various characters throughout the series, including Metal Core, Claw, Dark Eco Plant, and Crew. So characters that span all three games. Now, Crew is our Assault Vested Whale Lord with Steamroller, Earthquake, Waterfall, Body Press. Daxter is Bounce, Gunk Shot, Low Kick, and Blaze Kick. I really don't know the item I want for him. Dark Eco Plan is Leftovers with Cotton Guard, Aromatherapy, Energy Ball, and Synthesis. It's mainly there to get rid of ailments on our other Pokemon. Our key Pokemon, and trust me, I have beaten about six or seven people today in Wi-Fi Battles, have not lost with this team, and normally I suck at building teams with next to no synergy, but no one knows how to get around Aggron. So it has Sturdy, Rock Slide, Heavy Slam, Body Press, Autotomize. Most of the time, people send out their Pokemon, you know, that's set up. So I use Autotomize, then I Gigantamax, survive any hit they dish out. I am max defense as well, so I have a total defense of 504. I take any hit, activate Weakness Policy, and then I just destroy them. Jack is a Dark Pulsing, Burning DLC, Nasty Plot, Dazzling Gleam Sweeper, and Metal Core is a Calm Mind, Bug Buzz, Expanding Force, Energy Ball Sweeper, which is not Gigantamax, so that's kind of an issue, because I forgot to give him stuff, and Daxter apparently got beat up from... What did he get beat up from? I don't remember. Anyways, Eviolite I put on... You know what? Eviolite on you might make more sense. I think I had it on... Um... I think it was Daxter I had on. No, no, never mind. I had Expert Belt on Daxter. And then for the other items, I ran two Assault Vests. Who was the other Assault Vest? I don't know. But Metal Core is kind of one of those Pokemon that I really don't know what to put on them. Oh, wait, no, I put Life Orb on them. I just have four Life Orbs for some reason. I think it's because a lot of um, the hacked Pokemon that used to get traded around, I would end up with, like, Life Orbs and stuff, since Life Orb apparently is the number one go-to item for hacked Pokemon, I guess, even though... Like, could you imagine getting a Pokemon with no actual attacking moves that was meant to be a defensive Pokemon, and then all of a sudden it comes with a Life Orb, and you're just like, why? Why does it have a Life Orb? Uh, Arctic on YouTube... Okay, so we're battling a YouTuber, I guess? I'll go with normal rules. Because I don't mind if somebody brings the same items. Um... Hmm... Avery? Oh, wait, yeah, that's the guy. Mustard, Peony, Calyrex, Glastrier... Yeah, we'll just go with that theme. Now, hopefully this guy isn't like an uber noob and brings ubers. I do have a funny Wi-Fi battle up today, if you guys want to see it. It's called... Marshamp causes disconnects, and it's true. I've had so many disconnects with that previous team I used, it was insane. Either one by a hair, one by them disconnecting. Why, why does this man have a single by sharp? My entire, oops. My entire team deals with Bisharp, and I have no idea why I accidentally clicked Claw again. I think my controller slipped or whatever. My eyeballs are going crazy, though. What a waste of my time, YouTuber. He doesn't even have a unique trainer card. Like, what is this? Also, where did I put my pop? I brought one up for me, or up with me after dinner. Did this man forget to bring a team? Like, you have to accept Wi-Fi battles. You know, I'm just gonna smush him. That's it. Just, just smush him. I have Sturdy, so I'm not afraid. He can set up on me all he wants. One by sharp is not gonna do anything. See what I mean?
Like, what was that? And why would I want his trainer card? Like, literally. It's the exact- it's league card, by the way. I, I just remembered that now. But, like, you, you look at it, and, like, why would I want that? It shouldn't be able to ask you if you want to see it, if it's generic. Also, I have no idea why I'm here. When I'm building teams or looking for Wi-Fi battles, I just change up the location just so I don't get sick of the same soundtrack over and over. Bobby. Are you the same Bobby that I faced, like, three times today with the Grookey? Like, they don't actually have a Grookey. I mean, their profile picture on plo Pokemon. I was going to say Plokemon. New game, Plokemon, featuring... Plikachu and uh, Chlalmander and Shklurtle and Blobasaur and stuff like that, you know, just with a bunch of ols. But I highly recommend you check out today's Wi Fi battle video. It was absolutely hilarious. It had me laughing up a storm. Did it really take him that long to say that he was deciding the rules? And I'll just go back to random. Not as many good soundtracks as the previous Pokemon games. Like, the soundtracks are all pretty good in this. I mean, like... I think it was Aorus? Or was it Ultra Sun and Moon? I think it was Ultra Sun and Moon that had, like, that, that huge array of soundtracks. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna lead off a claw. I don't have a set, um... Like a Rocks Pokemon... Or spikes, toxic spikes, uh, sticky web, anything like that. So we're going with this. They probably a lot of people look at my team and go, "Oh, he has a Morgrum, an Eldegoss, and a Reboot. This guy is probably just using some in-game team." And then they take me for a joke, and then I just stomp them. Like when I see unevolved Pokemon, I don't instantly think that you know they're going to be bad. A lot of time, those are the ones that completely fool you because they have like these obscure sets, or they're super bulky with Eviolite. And we got Mustard's theme. God, that's just, that face is weird giving the thumbs up. Aw, oh, I wanted the Ice Arena. Oh, I'm perfectly fine facing off against Zekrom. I don't think Zekrom has any super effective attacks. Plus, Zekrom's physical. So, Zekrom doesn't really hurt Aggron at all. So, I'm just going to go for a Totemize. A Totemize will give me plus two. Sure, it makes Heavy Slam weaker, but I tend not to use Heavy Slam as Heavy Slam. Eh, I see that does maybe a third tops. Yeah, about a third. And there we go. This music is actually kind of peaceful. Now we should outspeed him. We'll go for the Max Knuckle to increase our attack. And we should be able to finish him off with Max Rockfall, which will then set up the Sand, which will then make us more especially defensive. I did want to put <clears throat> all of my uh, EVs into special defense, but then I was thinking, I want Body Press to do a lot. I have two Body Press Pokemon on this team, by the way. It's just such a fun move. Though, I shouldn't have put it on Wailord, because Wailord actually doesn't have very good defense. But it does help him get his attack up if we do Dynamax him. Man, this Aggron. This is the most damage he's taken from a non-super effective attack in ages, though. Ooh, that did nothing, honestly. I don't think Fusion Bolt can paralyze, can it? No, it's Fusion Bolt. It's not Bolt Strike. Bolt Strike can paralyze. Ah. Alrighty then. Just like, oh hey, I'm bringing an Uber. Oh, he's another Pokemon that slides. I, I don't, I don't get that whole sliding thing, man. Anyways, let's drop a rock on him. I don't think that would have killed him, or killed him, KO'd him anyway. Wait, did that do less than Bolt Strike? 
Weird question, did that actually do less damage than Bolt Strike? I mean, Fusion Bolt, not Bolt Strike. No one ever uses Bolt Strike. He wasted his Dynamax, though. Why? And because of it, we got over probably one of his strongest Pokemon on his team. Goodbye, Zekrom. I've also noticed, people tend to either not Dynamax lately, or they Dynamax turn 1. I tend to Dynamax turn 1 generally because I know the strategy of their team. This is also the first time that I didn't get Weakness Policy to proc. He's so much better with Weakness Policy. But... He might have known that I carry Weakness Policy, because a lot of, like, Rhyperior, Agron, uh... Sturdy Gigaliths, um... Crustle. Oh, hey, it's Garchomp. We do have speed Garchomp, right? Oh, it's Atlas. I used to have one named Atlas back in Gen 4. My entire playthrough is based off of Titans from uh, Greek mythology. Uh, that was a crit? Come on. Oh, he's special. But why do you use Fire Blast? Considering I'm Rock Steel, he should have just went for like maybe Earth Power. I don't know. Go Crew! Now this is funny because I carry Steamroller specifically for Dynamax Pokemon. Sure, it might not KO, but we should be able to eat up one or two hits from this Pokemon because we are Assault Vest. We're max defense, max uh, attack with Assault Vest. I have a feeling he's going to switch. Maybe. Or is this guy going to be one of those timer staller people like, Oh, I couldn't beat this Pokemon, so I'm going to... Okay, no. He has Dragon Rush and... Okay. Sure, it didn't KO, but got rid of his terrain. And if he has Rocky, or Rocky, Rough Skin, I don't think that would hurt us. So I'll just finish him off with an Earthquake just in case he has Rough Skin. Now here comes the Dragon Rush. Wow, even with Max Defense, that did nothing. Gosh darn flinch. Oh well. I swear, does this guy have like... Watch him have a crit? Really? Okay, Jack, let's go. Let's see what his item is. We'll see what it is. Wide Lens! That makes it so, what, moves are more accurate, right? We'll just go for Dazzling Gleam. We are max special attack, max speed, but... Oh! What is with Garchomp's being slow? I've watched a lot of people on YouTube, too, lately that have the same thing. Like, wh why is that Garchomp so slow? And then mine outspeeds everything. Oh, Gengar. Alright, he's got poison. Do I have any switch into poison? Not anymore. Hmm. That's bad. Will I survive an attack from him, though? That's the... I should be able... I have an Eviolid, so can I... Nope. Jack just died. Crit. What is with the crits? really don't have anything for Gengar. Like, I did. But they died. And why is this shiny Pokemon a Gengar? Like, out of all Pokemon, Gengar, really? We'll outspeed him, because we are Raboot. Raboot is insanely fast. Same with, like... Are you kidding me? He outspeeds? Ugh, gross. 
Get away with that stupid uh, hypnosis, man. Oh, well, we're both dead. Well, that sucks. And Gengar is going to take us down with it. My best bet is Metal Core. Which is based off of the Jack 2 boss. Oh, Gyarados. Interesting. He already Dynamaxed too, though. His Dynamax was more of a waste than mine. Uh, I have to go for the attack. Now, if I outspeed, then I'll be sad that I didn't go for Calm Mind. Sadly, too, I'm only max speed, max special attack. This might be the first loss. Because I was not expecting him to be using the style of Pokemon yet. No. I don't know why he protected to see what I do. Does he have a dark type? He does. He has he has to root the wish granter. Ay ay ay. I should have went for Bug Buzz, predicting him to switch. I don't know why I didn't. Will I survive that? I don't know. Core! <laughs> now all I have is Dark Eco Plant, which can't do anything. I don't know what Dark Eco Plant's gonna do, but. All I can do is go for Cotton Guard. <laughs> Ow. I am max defense, max HP. Like, that did a lot of damage, man. I don't know. That Cotton Guard doesn't really look like it raises defense, but whatever. That's just me. This is by far our worst Pokemon, by the way. I think Darkest Lariat ignores stat boosts, I think. Oh. Never mind. Oh, he's got Charizard. And, of course, it's the rare non-shiny Charizard. Yeah, he did so much. There's nothing I can do against this Pokemon. This sucks. I let my Pokemon die too early. I should have really paid attention. Watch him not kill me, though, surprisingly enough. Aw. Goodbye, Dark Eco Plant. Well. We took down a Zekrom. No, I don't really care about his trainer card. And no, it's not the same Bobby I faced like 10,000 times over. Anyways, we'll do one more Wi-Fi battle for this video. And uh, let's see what we get. Hopefully something fun. Like, and I mean, like, if they're going to bring Ubers, I hope they have fun sets. Like, yeah, my Agron isn't necessarily fun. It's kind of beastly. And ooh, an item. Yay, a large leak. Whoa. Hey, out, uh, Whale Lord, where'd you go? Autumn versus Japanese person. Alrighty then. Yeah, I'll decide the rules myself because people seem to bring no restrictions and then they bring like really low level Pokemon. Like, I had a guy bring level 30s and he chose no restrictions. Wait, he doesn't have a team that allows it? Why?
Same Pokemon not allowed, same item not allowed. Number of Pokemon, three? Well, I didn't want to do Battle Tower, but whatever. We're doing Battle Tower, guys. Now I really gotta be careful and choose my Pokemon. So they're bringing Rillaboom, Intellion, Cinderace, Volcanion, Dialga, and Regidrago. Um, honestly, I think Claw will be the best bet. And then I think Crew. And then I don't think. <sighs> you know what? Core can do something. If he brings, like, Regidrago, Intellion. Rillaboom, any of those two, or three, four, five, whatever, we should be fine. Would have been funny if they chose the Battle Tower theme. You got no bad, or no, uh, Pokedex completion there, buddy. I do. Hey, buddy. So yeah, about facing me. You can carry fighting moves, exactly what I want, because I'm physical. Well, physically defensive. Hmm. That does nothing. Sure, now I'm only plus one in speed, but at least I heal up. So I'm going to go for max rock fall, and then max knuckle. He didn't switch. Wrong. He sounds so angry. He's like, ah, I hate this gorilla. Be crushed, gorilla. Oh, wait, it's level 39. I just realized he chose Battle Tower rules, but brought a level 39. Why? He does realize that if you do choose Battle Tower or Unrestricted, this guy makes no sense. What's Intellion gonna do to me? Intellion is gonna do nothing. It's level 48. He might be able to do some good damage, but. Now, this is exactly what I mean by how this set's supposed to work. I love how my Pokemon's not even looking down at the other Pokemon. He's just like, yeah, no, I don't need to. Here, get crushed. Yoo-hoo! God, the Sandstorm makes the, like, recording kind of choppy. I hate that. And here's this Trump Pokemon, the random shiny Cinderace. Like, really, what's he gonna do? What a way to end the video, man. Now, is he gonna be Gigantamax? Also, it was funny, because I was watching a Pimp Night video where he didn't realize that this guy had the fossil, the new fossil Pokemon, like Dracovish and all them, in Beast Balls, and you can only get them in Pokeballs. I'm like, dude, those are clearly hacked Pokemon, and I'm, it's just like, normally he's all over that. Huh, Max Knuckle, eh? Alrighty, let's see if it KOs me. Holy crow. I don't think rock's very effective, but hopefully it'll do some damage. It didn't do that much. You know what we could do, though? Oh, wait, yeah, that was my last turn. I was gonna be, like, we could... I'm gonna die anyway. Heavy Slime's not gonna do anything.
Here's Cinderace's signature G-Max move. Boom. Poor Agron. Alright, crew. You ready for this? Uh, he's gonna go for... Mm, I don't know what he's actually gonna go for. Waterfall's probably my best bet, right? It didn't matter. Waterfall survive. We are max defense. Woo! Just barely, but we did. So he's probably got Sucker Punch, High Jump Kick, Blaze Kick, or fire, uh, Flare Blitz. And then maybe Bounce. Oh, I could have went for Body Press. That would have been super effective. This is not the battle style I wanted to do, though. Like, I don't like Battle Tower. Come on, can you miss that, please? If he missed it, it would have been all over. All I got left is Metal Core. We can finish it off, it's just... Oh, never mind, it's Pyro Ball. I'm used to my guy having only Blaze Kick because, you know... He's like Rabu, not a Cinderace. Ow. So don't get why his team didn't qualify for the format that I went for, but whatever. And no, I don't want your card because everybody uses that. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next time for some more Pokemon Wi-Fi battles. Bye-bye.